Where are you at, man? Woo. You good? I'm good. Still awake. Barely. You all right? All right. All right. All right. Now to Norton Brick. So I met Norton about, oh, I would say when Little Mountain opened, probably 2001, 2002. And he was uh, schlepping uh, mower equipment for Toro and <laughs> hanging out with uh, myself and, uh, and uh, Tom Sheets, the superintendent. And I'll be honest with you, probably met with him three or four times and I didn't even know he played golf, honestly, because we never really talked about because North never really talked about how good he was at golf. We were just talking about life, mostly. I don't even really remember. Then I remember this specifically. I remember that I was driving a cart past the 11th hole um, uh, at Little Mountain, and I saw Norton hit a ball, and I was like, oh, my God, where'd that come from? So I drove right into the superintendent, Tom Sheets. I said, man, have you ever seen our Toro guy hit a golf ball before? <laughs> he said, go Google it. So that was the rest of my whole afternoon because there was about 9,000 articles about it. Yay. So we spent a little time on the internet together, Nort. You didn't even know it. Oh, he knew. Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, is, there probably has not been a more dominant amateur player late 90s into the 2000s. Uh, 2011, he was inducted into the Ohio Golf Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, he's won three Cleveland Amateurs. Uh, just, uh, we could go on and on in all the golf tournaments uh, that he won. Norton and I talked the other day, one of the most special times for him uh, was the U.S. Senior Open and qualifying for it uh, a couple times, uh, which is a, a great accomplishment. Spoke to Dominic Antonucci, he's the uh, Executive Director of the Northern Ohio PGA, and we were talking about how Nort qualified the one year, and Dominic said, I walked into the media room and he said, you would have thought that Nort was the favorite in the golf tournament because all the media were over there talking to him because he was making them laugh and he was joke. <laughs> and it was fun. He said, I couldn't believe it. He said, I, he said all these players were around to get interviewed and everybody was talking to Nort. And that's just what uh, he's done uh, for the game of golf. Um, you know, started out, he's a former caddy, which is where so many of, uh, of the great people in golf uh, start out. Nort made his way to play uh, at Cleveland State, his collegiate golf. Uh, and he just got kept getting better and better and better and and uh, uh, you know I don't know that I've ever seen anybody through that period of time I mean you know technology is getting a little better north but it's not that much better and your golf game just kept getting better the, the, the older that he got we're very privileged in northern Ohio to be able to watch him play golf but I think more than that uh, we were very privileged privileged in north uh, in northern Ohio just to be able to spend a time around a guy that loved the game so much, loved being around the game so much, and even more than that, loved being around people uh, that were at the game. I mean, Nort, again, was, I can tell you right now, I don't know any other uh, person in the maintenance world that sells maintenance equipment, but I knew Nort. Cliff Pertillo, all the golf pros knew Norton because he just loved the game so much. He loved to be around people, whether you were growing grass, giving golf lessons, playing golf or doing doing whatever you did. So uh, I was extremely excited to hear uh, that he was going to be a part of this. Uh, Brian Smith is now going to come up and uh, talk about and give the presentation for Norton Brick.